Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought it'd be really fun to show you guys the products I've been using and which things I've been really loving at the moment. So the first item that I have been using, I have been using this for about a month now. This is my second tub. And as you guys can probably see, this one is literally finished already. This is the V SA, which is salic acid salic acid smoothing cream so i get really dry skin even during the summer and during the winter you can imagine that it gets a lot worse too and my skin is also quite rough as well i had a look on the internet i was like what can help me with my dry and rough skin and the CeraVe SA smoothing cream actually came up i found it in boots i believe you can get it on amazon now when i was looking on amazon you couldn't buy it but i do believe you can get it now it isn't exactly cheap per pod and if you're using this all over your body it doesn't last very long at all i get really dry skin on my legs and so i do put it on that area and i like just use a normal dry skin moisturizer for the rest and that does normally do the trick it's like a light moisturizing exfoliator so if any of you do have dry maybe rough skin then definitely try this out and see if it works for you. So the next product that I have been using is this Moroccan oil. This is another product that I have really been loving and it's just a recent purchase as well. It's another purchase that isn't the cheapest. I've had it for probably about the same amount of time, a month, and I probably use about this much of it using every day. So I can definitely tell that it is going to last me a while, which is probably worth a purchase. I was buying the more affordable argan oil rather than Moroccan oil, and it just was not doing the trick for my hair. I was having to put like three or four pumps in my hair, because as you guys can probably tell, my hair's really long. And so I wanted something that was actually really going to help, and this is a very well-known brand, so I really wanted to give it a go. At the moment, when I have been using it for a good few weeks now, I am really impressed with it. It's quite a thick formula, which I really like because I need to get quite a lot of my hair done. <laughs> And yeah, a little does go a long way and it doesn't leave my hair feeling really oily and greasy. Like even if I put too much in, it doesn't feel greasy at all. And the smell is literally insane. It smells really good. This is another product that I have been loving. So this is the Garnier Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask in a pomegranate with hydraulic acid. I love this one in particular. I've actually tried a few of their face masks, which I do love, but this one in particular is my favorite because I love pomegranate. So what I do love about this is that there is always a lot of liquid left at the bottom after your first use. So you can put it back in and you can use it again. And I really love that. I don't like using one thing and then just chucking it away. You basically put it on and it has this layer that you just peel off and then it leaves you with your tissue mask back on. Leave it on there for 15 minutes. And if there's any more serum left on my face at the end, I just massage it in and just leave it on my face. I literally put it everywhere. Anything, I just put it on all back of my neck everywhere. And then it just dries and then it just leaves your face feeling really good and fresh afterwards. And I really do actually feel like it really moisturizes my skin. And what I do love is that it's actually really affordable as well. My next favorite summer item is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. This is like a charcoal mask, you can probably see. I have used it a lot because it's got all over here. You're only supposed to use it, I believe, once or maybe twice a week and you only leave it on for 10 minutes because it's got those chemicals on there and you don't want to leave it in, on for too long. Now the first time that I did apply this onto my face, after I took it off it did leave my face a little bit red. So I have quite sensitive skin anyway so a lot of products I do put on my face it does leave me a little bit red afterwards but I don't feel irritation or anything like that. Put the tiniest bit really thin layer over your face and you leave it there for, I normally do about 8 minutes because by the time I go to the bathroom and take it off it's probably been about 10 minutes anyway and then it kind of hardens a bit like clay or charcoal face mask it's exactly like that and it also has those little beads in there so you exfoliate your skin as you put it on as well which I really love so when you do take it off you feel really fresh and I also have quite oily skin in my t-zone area like my chin my nose and a little bit on my forehead it's not too bad there but mainly my nose and after I have used this and taken it off I really feel like the oil has been lifted and it's just a fresh face so I've really been loving this this was actually a Christmas present. I have someone in my family who loves organic, natural things, and so she bought me a natural, organic face water. This is by Eco by Sonia. 
It's only a small little bottle, but when you put it on, it's literally like water. It's just so insane. I was a bit skeptical at the start about using this because I've actually used natural tanning products before and it just didn't do much for my skin. I like quite a dark tan because I am quite a fair person. And this one is actually in super dark express tan spray on one hour. I actually put it on yesterday and I actually feel like it does a really good job. And when I normally tan, I always feel a little bit sticky at the end because it takes quite a while to dry but this doesn't feel tacky at all and it doesn't have some horrible chemical smell to it, it is just very organic. I put it over my face because I don't want horrible chemical ingredients on my skin because my skin is very sensitive as well. And you literally just spray it on like you're spraying on water on your face and then within like an hour or so it does give you a really nice colour. So the next item is by Body Shop. This is their hemp hand cream. So one of my family members actually started using this and I thought the smell was really horrific actually. I thought, oh, what is that on your hands? But when I actually tried it, I went into the store and tried it for myself. And even though the smell isn't good, it does wonders for your skin. So I get even more dry skin from working out, washing hands and things like that. My hands get really dry. So I needed something that was really going to help my dry skin. And so this is hard working hand protector. And this is actually one of their best selling products. And it's really thick formula. That is literally just a little bit. I'll put it in my hands now. Even though it doesn't smell that great, it's so good for your hands, guys. This was actually a new buy. This was a vitamin C serum by Boots. It's just a plain branded one because I don't want to go in and just buy a really expensive branded product for the sake of it. So I just went into Boots and bought their own branded vitamin C serum and it's so good. I literally just put one or two pumps into my hand and like just tap it into my face and I'm left with literally smelling like oranges but with this nice dewy glow. If you just want a natural makeup look kind of day or you don't want to put any makeup on at all, I normally just take the vitamin C and just put a bit of my skin so I look like I'm a glowing orange. And vitamin C have so many benefits for your skin. I really had to try this. It's not the prettiest looking thing but I've really been loving this product for my skin. So the last product is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Bitch Please. It's a really pretty, kind of like a coral or dark pink kind of shade. I love Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks to start off with. I have quite a few of her colours. I just really love, for one, the packaging is just gorgeous and I love the formulas it's just nice and thick and creamy and I really feel like it stays on for a good amount of time I added this to my summer favorites because it's just such a beautiful pinky corally color it's really summery as you guys can see it's not really a matted lipstick it's very creamy which I just completely love so guys that is my summer favorite items I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time